All right, today is the day, and we are taking a look again at Leviathan today, and we have the cab, of course, from the last video placed in its position, and as you can see, it is quite high. There is something missing down here. We will have a hole. This will, we'll call it the hole, I guess. This is going to be the front part of the cab that goes down and is the deflection for the water, pushes everything underneath, and this will be a fiberglass piece that's going to go down and extend down towards the chassis. Well, if you have ever been around drifting or cars with uh, plastic bumpers that get buried in the sand, they always seem to do okay when they go into the sand, but as soon as they back up, they kind of scoop the dirt, the ground, the sand, and rip that bumper right off. And I figured that may be a problem with Leviathan, having this uh, large fiberglass piece that goes down. It will probably do just fine going forward into something, but when you try to back out of that, it will um, tend to grab so what we're doing today is we're building a chin roller. I don't know what the real name of these things is. It was very popular in World War II on half track vehicles. Um, big roller up front so that when it get into a steep incline and the front of the vehicle embedded into the ground, it wouldn't embed. It would just keep rolling on that roller. Anyway, we're going to build one of those today. That will be right at the base of this uh, fiberglass hole in the front here. Let's go take a look at that. Well, this is what I was talking about with a half track. Notice the big roller up front. That would certainly keep you from getting your nose embedded into a ditch. And of course, the important part of that whole mechanism is that drum. And we're going to be creating that thing out of a quarter inch wall piece of a 10 inch pipe with some quarter inch plates to act as end caps. And there's a third plate as well that's going to be welded right into the center of that drum. Now you also see some brackets on the floor behind. That's the rest of the mechanism for this thing. I had to create a couple of brackets that will be uh, drilled and bolted to the existing chassis. That's these two pieces right here. There's also a little ring that I've welded on the end of that. That is gonna be the anchor or the retrieving points for the front of the vehicle. If you ever have to pull this thing out of anywhere or tow something from the front, that's what those rings will be for but we have a plate on the inside. We're gonna put a couple of good strong tack welds on the inside plate. And then of course, a continuous weld bead around the outside of each end. Now the pipe that runs through the middle of this thing is about a 3 8 inch wall, one and a quarter inch piece of uh, pipe. Um, pretty tough in the real world, but when you uh, push a 6,000 pound vehicle against it, it may bend. But in the end, this thing is not useful as a mechanism to get through somewhere, but just as a protection for that fiberglass hole, as we said. I'm showing you here placing the plates. I also had video of uh, putting the drum in and doing some test fitting, but it was awful hard to get some uh, footage underneath this vehicle. And so a lot of that was just too dark for me to use. Sorry about that. Gonna make for a short video here as well. But this was putting the plates in place measuring it and now you can see a little cross piece of metal also that was added to give me my spacing as I bring this in the shop and weld it all up. The only thing not shown in this video is there's some end caps on that piece of pipe that will keep it from slide that drum from sliding back and forth, keep it centered on the vehicle. Once it was all welded up, take it outside and put some primer on it, get ready for the next steps. And that is before we can progress, we need to add a bracket right in here or an extension to the chassis that's gonna come up and be the pivot point or the mounting pivot point for the cab up above. So once that thing was kind of formed, it's got a little pin welded through it that we can run bolts through and then we'll weld this whole thing directly to the chassis. Some good strong welds there. Once it's all cleaned up, prime it, get ready to add our drum system. So to do that, we're gonna coat everything in our Raptor liner brown match the rear bumpers and some other trim we'll have. Here's those anchor points mentioned before. And then we have this bar that crosses in the middle, keeps our spacing, and that'll also be a mounting point for the fiberglass hole that comes underneath. And these points will be our pivot points for mounting the cab above. And there it is, a little short video, but that should protect ourselves from the bottom side. Thanks for coming by today. Come back, see us again.